Alrighty. Hi, William Hoen here for a new convoluted talk about a game. This time it's about it's about Warm Snow, the what I believe is the prequel to the famous roguelite Yellow Snow. Because you know when the snow's warm. Uh so uh it's no prequel, it's just a bad joke. Um but I, I still believe that Warm Snow is uh, somewhat of a garbage name for a game. That said, this game is anything but garbage. It's pretty amazing. It's a roguelite. It's made by a indie Chinese company. Uh, it's a roguelite. It very, it's very like uh, my famous TMNT Splintered Fate uh, game. It's a bit like Hades. It's a bit like name a roguelite here, alright? So there is a story, but um... and I swear I watched it, but uh, yeah, I I'm not sure I get it, but we are this cool samurai looking person, and we have some flying sword with us, which is a big mechanic because you can uh, throw those swords at enemies and they are very very powerful so uh, here you can choose um, your starting it's not a class but you know like the skill I like this this one the best um, no th yes this one the best uh, this is the new altar I've unlocked because before you beat the, the, the first chapter you only have this one here. So there is progression in between your runs, but every one runs you do, you start back at the prologue, Scroll of Wolf, and it's always like that. And so you kill those wolves, because that's your job, that's what you do. And you can call back your sword that you throw with the R2. With R1 you throw the sword and with R2 you get them back. And then you have some path to choose. Uh, this one seems like the normal path. Uh, this one seems to have a mini boss. I'm not sure, okay? Um, some are... Uh, sometimes it's a sword, that means there's a weapon. Sometimes there's a heart, which means there's uh, something to replenish your health at the end. Uh, of of the room, but anyway, let's let's go to normal route. I've been playing this for two three hours, maybe. Uh, it's a paid once game. You only pay once, get the full game. No in-app purchases. Um, it's uh, nine ninety nine uh, maple syrup money, aka Beaver Box. So uh, in USD, I'm not too sure how much it is. Probably like seven ninety nine. Uh, but it's really worth it. It's a it's a PC game that was ported to mobile, and uh, you have all the uh, the DLCs of the the PC version for uh, a pretty low price. There's a lot of games to be had here. Very arcadey. I think uh, this is something I, uh, I. I think this is why I enjoy roguelites so much uh, lately because those games they don't mess around with the story. They, they don't care. Uh, it's all about the gameplay, and it's in. And I realized it uh, earlier this week because I'm also playing Other World Legends. I'm gonna do a video about it. Uh, probably tonight, right after the run I'm, I'm doing here. Um, and th this is definitely in the same vein. Uh, roguelite, rogue, light, you know. Uh. Okay, this one, you're, you can attack when he... Oh man. His hitbox is so big. Um, that's what she said. Um... I don't want to die here. So you can take potions. You have four, four potions, and it's it's really the type of game. Uh, I don't want to 
know, compare it to like Dark Souls because it's annoying to me that all games are compared to Dark Souls nowadays. But it's it's very Dark Souls in, in the sense that you have opportunities to attack, and if you attack when it's not your turn, you're gonna die. Okay, so we've beaten the prologue boss. Let's see. So we can choose one sect skill. There's like seven sect. Um, it's part of the story. Not sure I get it all, but you know. Uh, so upon taking a fatal hit, I like that. Okay. And then we have a new sword. And what's cool is it the swords you take. You can see it on your character. When you change weapon, it changes how your weapon look. Okay, so those core, you can get many types that all have many different uh, effects when you uh, equip them. So see, if I equip it in the power... Um, yeah, they're not called core. I don't know how, what, what are those called. I'm no expert. But those things, those artifacts, uh, depending on where you put them, they will do something different. So, usually core is uh, an attack you will trigger, you will choose with uh, L2 to activate the attack. Um, and in the other categories, it's gonna change something linked to the skill, agility or power. So. Here we have a 7% chance to deal twice the damage, so I'll put it there. We don't... we have... We, we're on a schedule, we have other stuff to do, so... But yeah, I, I am far from understanding all the intricacies and all the mechanics of the game. Um, okay, so let's get one random relic. Ah, relic! This, this is all they call. I really suck with this. Look, I've worked uh, when I changed uh, from my current, my previous work to my current work um, place. We uh, we are like 25 people working in my uh, we'll call it department. All right. It took me a year to learn all the names of the people working there. 25 of them. So you know me learning how. A particular skill is called is uh, man. This, this is pretty good. All right. Let's go to chapter one. And uh, like I said earlier, a, a, a thing that really struck me uh, this week in how I like to play roguelites nowadays is really the arcadey nature of those games. Uh, it's not that different from playing uh, playing a shmup or playing a beat 'em up or playing uh, you know a, a platformer. Those games are very straightforward. It's it's all about the gameplay. It's all about you start your game and boom, you, you play the game. It, it's not there's not a you know three hours. I mean, I respect Persona Four a whole lot. Love Persona Four. It's in my top, you know, 10 games of all time. But when you play Person of Four, uh, the first, uh, I would say, three hours, you, uh, you're you doing nothing. You're talking to people, you're... Uh, you learn to, uh, to know the people around you. So, I'm really not into those games right now. Uh, Trails, the trade series, kind of an exception to this uh, lately because I, I just love the the world of Trails so much. But um, I mostly want to press button and have that dopamine hit of yay! I pressed a button. It was fun. This, you know, this is what I'm looking for these days, and I think this is why roguelites work so well with me right now. Because I despised roguelites, you know, two years ago, you would have talked to me about roguelites, I would have said, yeah, no thanks. Uh, here we'll have a treasure, so let's go there. And now it's like, a roguelite, oh cool. 
And what I like, you know, there, there's that whole roguelites versus roguelikes, and it's kind of not the same. Uh, roguelites will usually be action-based, and will usually have some kind of... Um, some kind of progression, permanent progression. You will get skills that you will be able to use in your next run, while roguelites are often turn-based, and it's, um, yeah, well, let's put it here. And uh, you, when you lose, you lose it all. You, you don't get to keep, you know, an upgraded step for your next run. So. I prefer rogue lights. At least uh, I, can, I can feel I'm progressing in some ways, you know. The first run are super hard, but... You keep at it, and at some point, you know, you get better, but your character also get better, so... But, uh, most, uh, most people, if you go on the subreddit of roguelikes, uh, most people definitely despise roguelikes. So... And I understand, it's fine, it's completely fine. Uh, let's, uh, let's buy this. Okay, when uh, when this happen and it's doing some kind of fiery stuff, I take that. Is it the good thing? Am I doing the right thing? I don't know, but yeah, no. Fire and all. Okay, this dude is very annoying because he's running very fast, and I have the hardest time to move away in time. I mean, right now I'm running super fast, but when I don't, it's super hard. He's, he's even giving you a tell of when he's gonna do it, but he, even then, um, I, uh, I have trouble with this dude. I mean, right now it's going fine, but... Let's heal, so this one will last... Oh shit! Oh shit! Come on! Heal! I would like to show a, a bit more of the game. But I don't have much time, so it's a one-run deal. I'm playing up until the time I die. And then I'm doing my other videos I wanted to do. And th that's it. You're gonna get what you're gonna get. Um, I yeah, I prefer my uh, my sword, and so I can get some currency out of it. Uh, okay, we'll go with the skill. We want skill. I don't have any skills myself, so you know I'm gonna borrow some from the game. I'm so tired. I know I've said it a million times, but. Uh, the past few weeks were uh, were a bit annoying. If you, if you uh, the astute among you, will have uh, realized I'm putting a bit less content than uh, than usual, and uh, it's because I'm I'm very busy. Uh, we have right now a teacher strike here, so there's no school. It's been two weeks, so we always have to, you know. Take care of the kids while we work, and it's it's not the best time of our lives, you know. Christmas is coming soon. God, I can't wait for this uh, this Christmas break. Gonna have a two weeks vacation. It's gonna be amazing. I uh, I cannot wait for my Christmas vacation. Now I'm working, uh, I was working in a place where it, it was, you know, it was not the best. Our uh, offices, sometimes it was super hot, sometimes it was super cold. Um, the bathroom were, were, you know, not very clean. Um, there was a lot of, uh, of issue, but um, we had a big, big, big window. Just in front of our uh, 
of our desk. And now we we are in the basement. And uh, in the basement, uh, there's kind of no windows. And uh, I, I really feel I'm working in a in a bunker. And uh, it's uh, you know, I'm not too. Uh, I don't do the. Um, how do you call that? When there's no light, when there's not enough light, some people will get very depressed. And I, I, I can't say I have that. I have my, count on me, I have my depression moments, but uh, yeah, um, I don't have like seasonal depression thing. I'm fine, but all day in that that bunker where every, every, uh, walls are white and the lights are too bright and man seems I'm making a song right but anyway um, yeah I think I don't want that see there there's so many skills and stuff I'm sure you can do amazing synergies between all those things but for now, I'm just reading the, the the skills, and I'm like, eh, I'm not too sure about that. Um, I think my other is better, but I, I want to show you it changes. See? Now my weapon is... Let's say I'm taking this one. See? My weapon changed. I think it's pretty cool. One of the downside of uh, Warm Snow is that... It's a PC game that they ported to mobile, and the port is fine, I have no problem, runs well, didn't have any bugs or crashes, it's all good, but everything is a bit small on the screen. Uh, and this is something when I play, I I'm playing two roguelites at the same time right now. Uh, I'm playing this one, and I'm playing Other World Legends. Uh, sorry, and Other World Legends is made for mobile, and the sprites are big. It's easy to read the text. In this one, it's uh, it's obvious that um, it's a port, and it's not made for mobile. Doesn't mean it's bad. I'm, I'm just saying that uh, I think if I'm going to play this like long term I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna play on my uh, iPad with a Bluetooth controller right now I'm playing with my uh, backbone my only <laughs> the only backbone I have still left my other usual setup now is uh, I've bought a like five dollar clip to put on a PS4 controller and I'm playing with that this is my current setup, but right now I'm playing with my PlayStation Backbone, which I like a lot. It, it's just, I, I just prefer playing, like, when I put my, um, when I put my um, PS4 clip controller thingy, I really feel I'm playing a, a phone game. It feel like gadget. It doesn't. It doesn't feel quite right. Uh, when I play with my backbone controller, uh, I see no difference from playing like my PlayStation Vita or any other portable console. It it really feels like the right thing. So, this bus took me so long to get. I had trouble uh, evading his arm. Oh shit, I was too, too close. Ah, man. I suppose uh, pride. Pride is. Uh, how you say? L'orgueil précède la chute. In French. Uh, in English, pride comes before the fall. Something like that. So I suppose it's gonna be the run. That's <laughs> that was that was warm snow. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. Oh, before before we leave. So 
For each boss you defeated, you get one of those red crystals, and with one of those red crystals you can upgrade a thing in the uh, in the skill tree. And once you're done with, uh, you know, once I I got those three here upgraded, it opened the other three and and so on. So. Um, so right now I can either upgrade um, Urgent Defense or I could choose 8% more attack. I think I'm gonna go with Defense, I'm dying a lot. So see now, I can upgrade those things and, and so on. So. so that's it. That's how I... I will need to work on on this part too because uh, the first the first few things are kind of meh, but at some point you you get some pretty uh, pretty good stuff. So uh, yeah, it's 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 something to do. It's something to upgrade, and which every upgrade you do next run is always easier. Uh, I really thought I would I would win this fight. I got a bit. Uh, a bit too confident. But anyway, thanks a bunch for watching this video, hope it was somewhat entertaining and or informative, and um, I guess I'll talk to you real soon. Now go do something else, go play games, bye bye.